Hey guys, so today I want to share with you guys something that is so dear and special to my heart. So this here I have is a part of a wedding dress. <laughs> um, I got my grandma's wedding dress. Um, it's something that I looked forward to having since I was like, like 10 years old, 11 years old. It was the first time that I seen my grandma's dress. Uh, my grandma, she got married two times so she got married to my biological grandpa back in 1953 ish we're saying 53 because we don't have any certificate of marriage or anything um, my grandma has passed away already um we're guessing 1953 which was 20 years old she was born in 1933 during the great depression <laughs> they were bored <laughs> um so she was born in mexico they were from mexico um so she, we're saying that she got married in 1953 because my first uncle, her first son, was born in 1954. So, yeah. So, this was something that I was looking forward since I was, like, a kid to, like, keeping, to having, to owning, to, like, treasure forever. And I finally got it um, through my aunt, my uncle who lives in Texas, who inherited my grandma's house. Um, He had it for a while in his home. And then he finally sent it to my aunt and my aunt asked if I wanted to keep it because she knew, she knew that I've always wanted it. Because I've always like, I've always mentioned it to my aunt and to my uncle. Um, I always sound like, ah, oh, like I want my grandma's wedding dress. It's like something like I won't be wanting for the longest time. And so I finally got it because my uncle in Texas, he sent it to my aunt here in California and my aunt, she... Let me have it. She let me take it. She let me keep it because I told her that I would take care of it forever and ever, which I am because I've always wanted it. I know, I know I'm rambling, but I'm so like happy and so excited to like show you guys her wedding dress. My grandma, she got married in 1953, quote unquote. We don't have a marriage certificate, um, but we do know that she got married because she was the first and only of her sisters that got married the right way. She did everything the right way. And according to my aunt, she was the one that suffered the most in her marriages. Um, so my first grandpa, my first grandpa, her first husband, my grandpa, my biological grandpa, um, they had four kids. Um, he does not know my mom. My mom was the last kid they had. And the only reason why they, he, did, he never remembered his last child was because somewhere along the lines, from 1950-something to 1964, during the Bracero movement, he was um, in Texas working, you know, after the war, for the war, for after the war, you know, to plow the land, to um, pick up the fruits, the vegetables, whatever, you know, until the program, the Bracero program ended in 1964. Um, somewhere along the lines, from 50-something to 64, he got sick. So the... Um, American government sent him back to Mexico. Um, and then so he went back to Mexico. He was sick. He had um, like, he, like they mentioned, like a beginning of Alzheimer's or something. Um, something happened with the heat um, that affected his brain that he lost his memory. Um, so he was sent back to Mexico. And um, my grandma... Um, my grandpa, he was like slowly, slowly losing his memory. And, um, that's why he just didn't remember his last kid because he could only remember up until his second daughter. Um, my grandma has a boy, girl, boy, girl. So he can only remember to his first son and his first daughter. He can't remember his second son and his second daughter, which is my mom is a second daughter. Anywho. So, yeah, so along the lines, he got sick and he got sent back to Mexico. My grandma, she ended up crossing the Rio Grande. And when she said it was like two feet of water, she said she was so short, it came up to her knees. The river came up to her knees. <laughs> so she crossed the river into um, the Valley of Texas, which is like in the borderlines of Mexico and Texas. Um, she started working there and um, then she came to Santa Barbara, California, and then she met her second husband. But uh, between her second husband and her first husband, she met somebody in between and she had a son by that man. At least so we think so. Because we don't know. Because we never questioned my grandma. She was just innocent and so quiet and so 
like she would always crack jokes and make fun of you and laugh at you or whatever you know she was like that kind of grandma like you know like that one makes you miss your grandma like she was like just like so down to earth and so like quiet and so like joking and like i swear like when we would go to texas when i was younger like we would go to the grocery store and she would like pass gas and she would like point it at me i was like I'm like, Grandma, don't be nasty. Like, no, it wasn't me, it was you. Anywho, that's how much of a joker she was. Um, I miss my grandma. Anywho, so I finally got a hold of her wedding dress. So this right here is the veil. It is all um eaten up by moth. Um, it has holes after hole in it. So it kind of looks like a like a like a spider web <laughs> it just has holes everywhere and it's just a basic veil and um, it's it turned ivory it's just a basic veil um and it has um trimming in the in the edges of it like that and then um i never remembered the slip i don't remember ever seeing the slip but it could pass as a 1930s dress and then i have her crown which is made out of beeswax it is missing a little piece. I have it in my um, china cabinet in my room under lock. Um, it is made out of beeswax. All the little beads are made out of beeswax. The little um, flowers right here are also made out of beeswax. And then I have her dress. I have it over here. Um, her dress, her cousin actually made it for her. My grandma was so skinny that not even my skinny sister, <laughs> my only sister, and um, when she was a teenager, she was heck of skinny. She couldn't even fit in this dress. That's how skinny my grandma was. She was so tiny, tiny from her waistline. So, yeah. So, I... Yeah, guys. So, um, her cousin made it for her. And this is... It just has, like, um, like the veil here from the same veil from the, from the wedding dress. And it has two little bows. And then it has a little, like, a corset kind of, but it doesn't have the boning. It just has the the lines. And then the long skirt with a short train on the back. So, yeah. So, I'm so excited to have it um, inherited my grandma's dress. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm happy to have it. I'm happy to own it. I'm happy to keep it i'm happy to treasure it forever and ever for as long as i live because <laughs> i don't know what my children i'm um, trying to do after that <laughs> anywho so yeah so there's this story about my grandma who she was and how um she lived kind of ish because that um back in the 80s um she finally got her her papers to be here legally in the United States and then um, because her second husband was American um, she finally got her her papers through him and then she got my mom's and all her kids papers so they she brought them all here to the United States in the 80s when it was easier to cross the border um, anywho so yeah so yeah so there's the story from my grandma how she Across the Rio Grande when it was only two feet of water um, to come and work in the United States because my grandpa got sick um, and he was left in Mexico and um, his sister ended up taking care of him um, unfortunately he did pass away a while back um, he passed away and um, yeah so yeah guys so I just want to share with you guys my my little treasure here dear to my heart that i will always treasure forever my grandma's wedding dress so yeah so thank you for watching i love you guys i'll catch you next one bye bye